Hey yo, salute G's, Coach Davis, back with another motherfucking video, man. Salute all my new G's, salute all my day one G's, man. As you can see from the title, I know you clicked on this video out of curiosity, or you probably think I'm clickbaiting you. Listen, let me, you know, let me give you some clarity right now. This is not a clickbait video. Semen retention will ruin your life, but I'm talking to a, a specific crowd of people. The people that just think that, you know, they watch other people do it, like me, and I may make it look easy. Bro, let me first start off by telling you, if you don't know, bro, this shit is the hardest thing I have ever done in my life. And if it's not the hardest thing that you ever done in your life, then maybe you just not keeping it real with yourself. But I'm a nigga that I give credit when it's due. When somebody dope, I, I give them their credit. When somebody a clown, I give them their credit even when they a clown if they good in some aspect of what they do. Um, And this shit right here, this shit is the hardest thing I've ever practiced, bro. See, the reason why I say semen retention will ruin your life is because it will. It's really that simple, bro. Like, first of all, when I get mad, bro, my whole body get on fire. My whole body is lit like a motherfucking flame, bro. Like, what? Bro, the slightest bit of disrespect, and I don't even want to punch him. I don't want to fight. I'm ready to just, I'm ready to load the clip, bro. I'm ready to load the clip. I, nigga, bro, do y'all niggas, bro, I don't think y'all understand what y'all getting yourselves into, bro. See, if you don't have a strong will to understand what you're going through in this process of, you know, Sec it's, it's some sexual frustration in there because you're depriving yourself of something that you've been doing for so long. So you're going to go through changes. Don't get it fucked up because I make this shit look easy for anybody that may be seeing me transitioning to be more cool. Listen, bro, this ain't no transition. I've been cool. I've been had willpower. I've been being able to function and, and fucked up in bad turmoil, you in bad situations. I know how to keep my cool. But I will tell you this. I know this, uh, an increase in my anger a high increase in my anger it fuels my anger semen retention like when somebody's lying to me in my face and i know they lying it make me want to choke the shit out of them in that very moment like the minute i see it, i just want to grab him by their neck and be like my nigga i know you fucking lying you bitch ass nigga i know you fucking lying or when somebody trying to play games with me like I'm stupid. You know, like, bro, listen, you're going to notice the truth on semen retention. You're going to be able to see a lot of shit because you're facing yourself. And since everything is a reflection of you, you'll be able to see everything else around you better. And if you like me, it's, it's going to get you tight. It's going to get you tight, bro. You're going to get tight. And if you don't know how to control you know, your anger and all that, like, you know, when you realize that, you know, the brolic dudes is only picking on the dudes that's, you know, is only going to fuck with the dudes that's not as big as them. They're going to try to fuck with a dude like me that looks slim, but they don't know that I could just load a clip and shoot the shit out of them in their motherfucking face. And now you're gone, bro. All that tough shit that you was doing because you thought you was bigger than me. I could just shoot you in your fucking face, bro. And there's people out here that really live like that. So imagine, imagine some of these street niggas that's already dumb. Get on semen retention, like, don't get me wrong, semen retention can change your life, but you have to have a strong will. If you already dumb, semen retention is not going to make you smarter. It's going to make it harder for you. So you got to want to do this shit. This shit is not for everybody, bro. Just because we all got semen don't mean that we all going to practice semen retention, bro. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because I'm going to tell you something, bro. God know who this is for and who is not for. Because if certain people was to get on semen retention, you think the world would be a better place? Now nah, the world would be a worse place. It would be worse. Because it takes a lot of willpower to be able to harness all of this energy, bro, for real. I enjoy being cool. I don't like being rowdy, even though I got that side of me and it's, and it's very bad. I'm, I'm still trying to tame that side of me, which is the main reason why I'm starting to be more cool in everything I do. You feel what I'm saying? But bro, like, first of all, I don't like repeating myself. That's why I don't talk. Because see, in real life, when I tell somebody something one time and they don't want to fucking listen to me, I'm ready to kill them or hurt them very bad. 
So I just don't talk to people with soup. You you know how I use this shit? I'm smarter now. So when I see somebody is fucking stupid, I just don't talk to them. I don't talk to them. I don't I don't want to get them. I don't want to have them get a feel of my character for real. Because when they really get a feel of who I truly am, which is a really a motherfucking savage, like I really got a killer inside me that just want to murder motherfuckers that don't respect me. Because, I mean, but then you got to also remind yourself, bro, what keeps me cool in those situations is that, listen, bro, these people don't respect themselves. So you got to know how to psych yourself out. When all of that, when that fire build up, I know how to make a joke. Like, like, let me, let me give you a scenario. Like, you know, I, I'm a very funny guy. I know how to just transmute that and psych myself out. Um, I say some shit like, like, let's say a nigga got me real hot. Like my body is on fire. And the only thing that's on my mind right now is attack. I could just say, yo, earlier that day, that bitch that had a fat ass, yo, she had my, I had a fucking, I had a fucking stiffy the other day. You know what I mean? Thinking about that girl, damn! I couldn't even get that shit to go down. I would, I would think of something. You gotta know. You, you. Sometimes when you have a good relationship with yourself, you gotta know how to say things that you only know will work for you. Maybe other people would think you weird for these jokes that you tell yourself. But you really gotta start. This is a fucking mind battle for real. For real. This is why this is not for everybody, bro. Like. Semen retention will ruin your life if you don't have a strong will. So for all the future videos that y'all see me watch when I'm cool and shit, or I may get a little rowdy, listen, bro, I got a strong will. That's the only reason why I'm surviving on this shit. You gonna also notice that the people, there's gonna be people out here that don't see the difference between real, what's real and what's not. And you gonna take that as disrespect if you're not smart. You're gonna be like, oh, what this nigga, this nigga got me fucked up, I'm gonna have to show this nigga. Oh, he think cause I'm a little slim, I can't flip him? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he think cause he a little brolic, he, he, can, he can't take this gunshot to the to his chest and he not gonna bleed the fuck out? You feel what I'm saying? Like, you gonna be thinking about some monstrous shit, where well, at least that's how I be thinking. Or like, you know, I've been having a lot of issues with my baby mom still. Trying to figure out how to talk to this bitch so I could see my fucking son. Because she thinks shit's sweet because she got a boyfriend and she could just turn her back on me and live her life and, and you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a whole son with this bitch and she over there living a whole life and I don't even get to see my son because of the coronavirus. She like, oh, the coronavirus, I don't want to go nowhere. Uh -uh. And I know it's like, yeah, don't get me wrong, it's the coronavirus, but I know what she's doing and that's what fucks me up. As soon as, yo, bro, it have been times like recently that while we're not talking right now, it's because as soon as I sense that she's trying to play with me like I'm dumb, I told that bitch, you know what? Suck my dick. Like, the most disrespectful thing I could think of, and that's something I'm really working on because I just fucking hate when somebody tries to play with me like I'm fucking stupid and like I don't know what the fuck they trying to do. So you're going to have to realize, bro, when you get on this semen retention shit, if you're not strong enough to cut certain people off, even if I don't, even if I don't get to build a relationship with my son for a while because I can't get it right with my baby moms and she don't want to talk, I'm just going to have to leave that alone because if I'm trying to run behind her and I see she's going to still be trying to fuck with me and do little spiteful shit that she knows is going to get me hot, then you got to learn how to stay away from those people or you will self-destruct on semen retention. You won't be able to survive on semen retention. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because the shit that you're already going through in your life, the people that you already feel like, you know, is on some funny shit or you can't trust them, guess what? All of that fake, nice guy shit that you was on, if you don't know, if you're not going to change for real and stop all that funny, nice guy shit that you're doing with people that you know you don't really fuck with, well, guess what, motherfucker? You're going to wind up hurting one of these niggas. You're going to wind up getting hurt. You're going to wind up going to jail. You're going to wind up dead, nigga. I'm telling you that right now, bro. Yo, your, your anger and all that shit gets amplified, bro. Like, our real masculinity is coming in. As men, we don't tolerate no disrespect. That's feminine. You feel me? Like, when you don't want to, you know, approach or say something to somebody or, or do something to somebody because you feel like they're a little bit bigger, all of that is going to disappear on semen retention. 
Because when that flame kicking inside of you, you're going to have one thought on your mind and that's go. And guess what? When you finally open your eyes and you and you wake up and you in a fucking jail cell looking at 25 to life for attempt murder. And you're going to be like, yo, Coach Davis was right. I'm telling you, bro, if you're watching this right now and you already got a problem with certain people or whatever situation you win, whether it be at your job, your boss is on some funny shit, co-workers, your friends, whatever, nigga. You better learn how to build a relationship with yourself and know how to psych yourself out of those dangerous situations, man. I'm out. Salute.